this is the A250 linear module. I'm supposed to return this to the stop maker. This is the one that seized, the, the motor seized just within six hours of operations. Snap maker has promptly replaced this module and it's now installed on my A250. This one is still with me because FedEx is FedEx is FedEx. The first thing you need to do is to remove these two screws and also at the other end. You'll need a Torx wrench. This is a T6 and this is what will fit here. So let me do that. Once you've removed the two screws, make sure that you do not lose this part. This is what stretches the stainless steel cover and secure it to the end. So make sure you keep it. The end where the wire is connected is where the stepper motor is. As you can see here, there are two PCBs and you will see this lead screw. So what I'm going to do is to remove these screws so that we can pull it out. These screws have been removed using this tool supplied by Snapmaker. This is the 2.5 hex tool. Carefully pull out the stepper motor assembly and make sure that you do not contaminate the grease on the lead screw. Don't touch it. As you carefully pull out the stepper motor, the bracket will come with it. So what we need to do is to release the bracket from the stepper motor lead screw. And we can do that by turning the lead screw. To turn the lead screw freely, we need to remove this connector. Make sure that you remember the orientation. So in this case, black is on top, white is at the bottom. Now that it has been released, we can now turn this. And the bracket doesn't move. Once you are able to unscrew it to the bracket, make sure to set it aside properly. So this is the trapezoidal nut that one of the user uh, in the forum reported to be faulty. Um, as I've mentioned earlier, this linear module only had 6 hours of use. So I don't expect any defect. Um, due to manufacturing so let's try to wiggle it as expected nothing it's perfectly okay now you'll see that the stainless steel cover is still attached because i'm lazy I don't want to reattach it um, or slip it under this uh, guide anymore. So I just left it there. Next, what I'm going to do is uh, wiggle it from the motor end. So I'll try to hold this in place and just push and pull the motor. 
and as you can see I'm exerting effort here but there's no movement when you put the bracket back make sure that you secure this first when you're inserting it this is the limit switch trigger and if you forcefully just push the bracket you will break this so take a, a jeweler's screwdriver this is a flathead screwdriver it's kind of small and just help the pin get out of the way And that's it the other thing that may may be of concern is a possible wobble when the linear the bracket moves so let's actually it's there's no play as expected to assemble it back Move the bracket about two fingers, and I have small fingers, so that we will be able to secure this part again. Okay, so all you have to do is turn it, and when it's close. Make sure that you return the or connect the wire again, which is for the limit switch. So there it goes there. When you push this thing back in, make sure that you hold the ribbon cable with one of your fingers to ensure that they won't get caught in the aluminum case and there you go